but. Great day morning, mixed time. There's a new survey that says the DMV is home to one of the best cities to live in. The website Niche puts together its annual best city to live in rankings and Arlington, Virginia came in at number Yay. two. Now it uses data from several sources, including the US Census Bureau, the FBI, the CDC, and of course, resident reviews. They're right there. I went to the mm -hmm. website, you can see all the reviews. Arlington came in second behind Cambridge, Massachusetts. There are two other local cities who made the list as well. Columbia, Maryland landed in fifth place and Alexandria, Virginia came in 20th. We did this with the states, like yeah. the ranking of the states before too. Virginia always in Arlington and Alexandria that area. are right up at the top. And Columbia always gets mentioned in a lot of things as well in Howard County. Yeah. But I was yeah. actually surprised Alexandria was all the way down at 20th. At 20, yes. Because they tend to get a lot of accolades as well and praise for a great place to be. Right. If you go to that website, is it Niche? Niche, niche. Am I saying yep. that right? Yep. Um, they have like the reviews that I mentioned you could actually read and then it says click here to see the homes. So you click here and then you see all the homes that are in the area as well. Wide price range. I'm thinking like over a million dollar all homes over. in Arlington, but they had condos. They had a lot of uh, it's a little bit of something for everybody. Maybe that's live. why they're up higher, that it's yeah. not just a certain class that can that can, can live there. Can afford to live there. Yeah. yeah. And obviously Congrats. those of us that have visited there know how beautiful Arlington yes. and Alexandria are. And Columbia. we got to mention Maryland yeah, as well. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. A German brewery claims it created the world's first powdered <laughs> beer. It just looks gross. I'm All you sorry. have to do is add water. It reminds me of like those shakes you drink in the morning. Yes. Creators say the eco-friendly concept could cut the need for bottles, crates, and kegs, reducing the heavy carbon, heavy carbon footprint of beer exports and slashing the weight of deliveries by 90%. But a lot mm. of things with beer is the aging process or what keg they were put in or what cask uh. they were put in. I don't, I, I'm curious. I want to be mm. all for this because I want to do things that are going to support our environment yeah. in the future. And so when I read that how good it could be for shipping and you yeah. know, less weight and all that, I, I love all of that. So I don't want to put this down, but I thought of what you said, like the morning shake when you're putting in the protein yeah. powder and stirring it. And apparently the beer right now is alcohol free too. So they're oh, trying okay. to then later add the alcohol portion, but right now that mix. So it, it, it gives you the froth as you saw, right. and it looks like the beer, but it doesn't have alcohol in it for now. Well, that's nice. I mean, at least another option too then for people, because we're seeing yeah. so much more of these alcohol-free yeah, boom products, true. you that's know, true. in those type products. So you know, just I'm try it. I does mean, not look like what we think it should that's look That's true. Like. You gotta have an open mind when yeah, it comes to that. Yeah, if someone just served it to you, you'd probably be fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm open to trying anything.